guys, it's Melanie. Happy Sunday. So today is a little bit of a bonus video and I've decided that I wanted to do what seems to be a YouTube staple for a lot of people, <laughs> which is my fall home decor tour. I've been seeing these videos pop up all over the place and I've been loving watching them. If you know me, you know my favorite season is fall. I am a sucker for it. I will... Like, I would honestly trade every single season out there if we could just have fall all year round. <laughs> I love rain. I love gray, dreary weather. I live in Oregon, so I live in the right place for that <laughs> during the fall and winter. Um, it's actually really nice here in the spring and summer. People often think that Oregon is just gloomy year round. It's really not. Um... It is definitely pretty hot during the summer and we are finally cooling down and I tend to decorate for fall starting September 1st. <laughs> I realize the equinox is not until the 22nd, but I just like to push that <laughs> envelope a little bit because I love this time of year. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys how I decorated for the upcoming season. I kind of go all out a little bit more for fall than I do for spring and summer. So I'm gonna show you everything that I have out. I would love to be able to link it, but honestly, most of this stuff came from TJ Maxx. It came from Home Goods and Marshalls, um, things that were gifted to me. So there's really not a whole lot to link, to be totally honest, but just check out your local Home Goods and TJ Maxx you'll find a lot of similar items there, especially this time of year. So I'm standing on the steps right now. I'm gonna very carefully make my way down here and show you guys um, our entryway. So there's the front door, and that is Lola. Lola is actually my mother-in-law's dog, but my mother-in-law is still in Canada on her yearly summer vacation with my father-in-law. And um, so Lola's been staying with us, and I love her. She's so sweet. She's actually Kong's litter mate. Um, those of you that are new to my channel, Mr. Kong is my dog. That's what my channel name is, Mr. Kong's mom. He's over there getting a drink. But let's let's get started here. So this garland here on this picture is actually from the dollar spot at Target. I really like this. I think I got it last year or the year before, so it's not currently available. But they do have some other cute stuff there this year, so keep an eye out. Um, usually that stuff's really affordable. Sometimes it doesn't make it from year to year, but these are actually wood. Um, they're not paper, they're wood. So they're actually holding up really well. That picture, by the way, is, um, speaking of my in-laws, they own some property up in um, the Thousand Island region between upstate New York and Canada there. So that cottage was actually just torn down this pa uh, past spring. Um, it was well over 100 years old. It was just a summer vacation cottage. Like you could see through like the holes in the wall and stuff like daylight would come shooting through. <laughs> so the cottage needed to come down and they are building a brand new one in its place right now. And they actually had an artist, a local artist to the area they commissioned him to paint a a picture of this cottage before they, you know, knew it was going to be torn down. They actually had this picture done a few years ago, but it's one of my husband's favorite places in the whole world. When we go on vacation, that's usually where he wants to go. And so we got a copy of it and it's nice to have that in our house because it means a lot to Craig. So anyway, that is what that picture is. I'll show you guys another picture from this artist in the house here in a minute. Um, he does really beautiful work, but anyway, that's what that is. This fall in love sign came from uh, TJ Maxx this year, as did this pumpkin here. I love this one. So these are brand new to my collection this year. Um, if you are on a budget, I would highly suggest going to the dollar store and picking up some of their fall holiday decor and then painting it. So making it a little bit more luxe looking. This was actually an ugly orange pumpkin. Not that orange pumpkins are ugly, but it really wasn't a very nice shade of orange. So I painted it with this really beautiful champagne rose gold paint that I found at Michael's. 
So if you're on a budget, you can still do fall decor on the cheap and have it look really nice. Like I love the way this looks now. This was actually a candle I found at TJ Maxx and um, I took the wick. You can kind of see the remnants of the wick right there. But anyway, I have the Lucent Warmer from Scentsy there. I believe that is now discontinued. Then a couple of little votive holders. And then this is a Hurricane from Bath & Body Works. I think that was from two Christmases ago. And in there I have White Pumpkin and Clove from Colonial. That scent is now discontinued, but I think it's actually in Ross stores right now. I visited Ross recently and found two. It's the most amazing fragrance. If you see it, just buy it. Trust me, it's an amazing candle. So that is our little entryway over here. Um, this is my husband's side of the family. So we did family pictures last December. It was like literally the worst weather day ever. <laughs> and everyone was like miserable because it was so cold and wet and we just had this huge snowstorm and everything was melting. It was just awful. Anyway, those are my peeps right there. <laughs> Over here, I have this little entry table. I just have this maple leaf thing that I put some pumpkins that I found at, I think I actually got this little configuration here at, what do you call that place, Pier 1. So anyway, I just put that in there and stuck that right there. I did get one of these really pretty new wallflower uh, plugins. I have apple pumpkin or pumpkin apple in there right now. It smells really good. But I love the little like wheat gathered up and it actually has a little burlap tie right here. It's so cute, you guys. I love that. That is available at Bath and Body Works right now. So if you want it, go snag it. It's really pretty. The um the wheat actually has gold sparkles. Is it gonna make that out? Probably not. Anyway, that mirror I actually purchased for like I think it was last year for holiday, like Christmas decor in my house. And I just never took it down because I think it's really pretty. It's from Nate Burkus at Target. So over here, I have just some pumpkins on some candle pedestals. Um, those guys were actually from the Target dollar spot last year, I believe. And then the mercury glass ones were from TJ Maxx. So, and there's some pictures of my little baby. Oh, you guys, she's not a little baby anymore. Look at her. She's so big now. <laughs> I love this picture of her and Craig. Let's see if I can get rid of the glare. Oh, look at, look at how cute she is. Oh, this kid, you guys. I just love her. And that's the three of us together. I love that picture because Stella just looks so happy. She was honestly the happiest little nugget. Oh gosh, she was cute. Um, that's our blanket <laughs> that I just wad up and throw on the corner of the couch. This is actually Mr. Kong's perch here. So this is where he uh, watches for the mailman and UPS and warns me about it. So that's his job. I need to vacuum. I'm actually getting ready to mop. Um, my husband's birthday party is tomorrow. So I am cleaning the house for that for all the guests but over here you'll recognize that so I just bought another one <laughs> I cut that one down obviously to, to put that to fit that picture frame but this is the original size so it's just kind of like a bunting I just attached it to the top of our bookcase there um and I just took all that stuff out a couple weeks ago and dusted that whole thing what a nightmare oh my god what a nightmare um, this is Stella's art station. Uh, Stella is quite the artist. If you guys didn't know, she is she is hardcore into what she calls arting. <laughs> she she can turn anything into a verb. So Stella likes to art for fun. Over here, I just have a candle sleeve from Bath and Body Works, and this has pumpkin cupcake in it. I love pumpkin cupcake, and this year's is pretty darn good. So. And then all of this other stuff, I think these are from Ikea, these little, um, what do you call these, coasters. And that's from TJ Maxx. I don't know when. I still need to refinish this coffee table. I'm hoping to do that possibly this next week. That's my goal. I have the Annie Sloan chalk paint in duck egg blue. That's what that's going to get painted. The, this table is tore up. Yeah. 
Thanks, Stella. <laughs> Kids are hard on furniture. I was actually just telling my husband that we need to replace this couch because I cannot tell you, I can't tell you the things that she's done to this couch. Like, nobody would ever want to sit on it again, quite honestly. Um, another little pumpkin over here, and there's my baby pumpkin. Oh, you guys, I love my kids so much. Isn't she the super sweetest? I just love her. God, she's cute. Okay. More of those pumpkins, and these were just from uh, the Dollar Tree, and then I just painted them. So this one is more of like a copper. This is more of that champagne um, paint that you saw over on the other one. Little matchers over here. So not much going on on the mantle. Craig hates it when I put stuff up on the mantle here. Um, what is that schmutz right there? I have to clean that. Um, he hates it when I put stuff up here because he likes an unobstructed view of this ridiculously large television that he has to have. Okay, there's Mr. Kong. Hi, buddy. Hi. So for our dining room table, um, I just, I have this runner that I've had for a couple of years and that's all of our mail which I never organize, so it just goes on our dining room table, of course. This, lots of people ask me where I got this. It's from TJ Maxx, <laughs> like everything else in my house. Those pedestals are from TJ Maxx. These are from TJ Maxx. That is from TJ Maxx. These are from Untouched Candle Company. I am testing these out. This is, oh, you guys, this smells amazing, as does the pumpkin spice latte, which is currently in test over there. Um, right there. Um, but yeah, I just, I like to decorate with candles and squirrels. <laughs> so that's what I have going on there. I have this wreath on this mirror. I can't tell you the number of times people have told me that they hate that wreath. Like, that thing being in that position right there on that mirror stresses people out and it cracks me up. Some of the comments that I've seen in some of my other videos where people have seen it, they just are beside themselves that I would do that. So honestly, just to spite people, I keep it up there. <laughs> That's the kind of person that I am. <laughs> anyway, by the way, this is my new fall purse. I thought I'd pop this in here. I just picked this up from Steve Madden um, at TJ Maxx, $40. Um, well, it's a Steven, but it's a Steve Madden bag. So this is called the J. Gracie Antique Ball Hobo in Camel. Yeah, Steve Madden. There you go. I like it. It has this fun little tassel doodad that I thought was kind of fun. That's fun, right? Do you like it, Lola? Do you like it? Ugh, I have to clean my floors. Don't look at those. These are all of the floating candles for Craig's party tomorrow. I just have them sitting here because they're all going to go out here on these tables that I have set up. And then I actually bought some cafe lights and strung them around our tree here. They look so pretty at night, so... Um, I have some linens to put on those tables, and then I'll be setting that stuff up tomorrow. But anyway, that is besides the point. Here in the kitchen, I didn't do much. I just left the green stuff, which I normally have up for like spring and summer. I don't feel like taking it down, so it's going to stay up there. I have some um, dish towels <laughs> with pumpkins on them. Over here, I do have my Scentsy uh uh, pumpkin warmer. This was a warmer of the month last year, so this is no longer available. This stand, however, is available. Um, go see my friend Lisa Roberry. I'll link her channel down below. She is my Scentsy lady, so um, she will help you with all of your Scentsy needs. I love her. Um, this is my candle crock that you always see me talking about right now. I have milk and sugar from... Um, uh, Jeez Louise, why do I suck at words? Milk House Creamery. <laughs> anyway, this gets warm but not hot. Melts the wax as you can see and it throws like crazy. Um, Harvest Pear, 
and then some floating candles that I'm gonna light during the party because you'll be able to see them from the outside in here so but that's pretty much it in here I have a couple of things in the um, nothing in here by the way does anybody's cat eat like this my cat is such a slob I am cleaning up her food area every single day it drives me nuts I don't know why she's such a sloppy eater <laughs> anyway so in the bathroom here I just have some hand wash from Bath and Body Works um, this candle holder is new this year to Bath and Body Works so you can find it there I have cranberry woods in here I switched out the lid to this one this came with the harvest pair I really like that um, this is no longer available but they have something similar and in here I have autumn and uh, oh yeah these guys these little pumpkins also from the dollar spot at Target also from the Dollar Tree dollar spot and that's it that's everything so yeah this was my fall home decor tour <laughs> I tried not to go overboard Craig thinks um, I do way too much <laughs> decorating so I have to try to like find a balance but oh you guys she's so sweet little Lola Bean by the way both of the dogs are 12 so they're our little grandma and grandpas now and we just love them so much anyway thank you so much for watching Lola will bid you adieu now right say adios ciao tschüss Thanks for watching.